The new Aurora Pro MK2 is finally here and I've been testing it for more than a month now. I think it's now safe to share my opinion with you. If you already own the first edition of the Aurora Pro and someone secretly swaps it for a new MK2 while you're away, you wouldn't even notice. The MK2 looks identical to the original Aurora Pro, like two drops of water. The specs are pretty impressive. Dolby Vision and HDR10+, 2400 ANSI lumens, a 4000 to 1 native contrast, 3D support, super low input lag for gamers, and 3 HDMI 2.1 inputs that can receive 4K signals up to 120Hz. It also offers very important functions in my opinion, such as dynamic contrast and scene adaptive gamma, which drastically increase the so-called in-scene contrast, the actual contrast within the same image frame. As always, you can read a detailed review of the Aurora Pro MK2 on projectorjunkies.com if you are looking for a deeper analysis, of course. But let's not waste any more time. We all know why we're here. We're here to see the Aurora Pro MK2 groundbreaking scene adapt engine, which use a dynamic iris and an advanced laser dimming algorithm to boost the Aurora Pro contrast from 4000 to 1 to more than 30,000 to 1. Before we look at how the scene adapt engine works, let's focus on something I think it's important. I'm referring to the ALPD 5.0 optical engine used in the new MK2. An Apotronics optical engine that combines the precision of lasers with the stability of LED diodes to create bionic natural light. The optimized hybrid optical engine solves two of the biggest problems of the pure RGB laser technology, the laser speckle effect and color aberration. The Scene Adapt engine uses a dynamic iris in combination with an advanced laser dimming algorithm to increase contrast and improve black levels. When the Scene Adapt engine is activated, an algorithm controls three key parameters scene by scene. The position of the dynamic iris, the power of the hybrid light source and the gamma correction of the incoming signal. The Scene Adapt engine offers three settings for the iris control and four settings for the laser dimming so that the total 12 combinations are possible. In practice, the Scene Adapt engine improves contrast and black levels, but also reduces red, making the image cooler with a green tint visible across the entire grayscale. Fortunately, this can be corrected by adjusting the white balance in the Aurora Pro menu, but it takes hours of trial and error and a lot of effort to achieve a good result. The operation of the Scene Adapt engine is very smooth. It works so seamlessly that you'll barely notice it in action. Transitions between dark and bright scenes and vice versa are smoother than never before. However, in certain scenes, screen adapt engine can get confused and struggle to decide what to do. When this happens, you may experience brightness bubbing, like screen flashing and color shifting. In some cases, these artifacts become so strong that they significantly affect the viewing experience, especially in scenes where bright and dark areas coexist while the camera pans. In those moments, MK2 can become almost unwatchable. As we select less aggressive iris and laser dimming combinations, 
The Artifacts Decreases. The combination that is nearly artifact free is Iris Dark with SAE 1. While this setting requires more precise white balance calibration, the screen adapt engine performance is stable and almost entirely free of artifacts. Of course, I couldn't resist placing the Aurora Pro MK2 next to the Valerian Vision Master Pro 2 for a quick shootout. With the Synaptic engine deactivated on the Aurora Pro and the enhanced black level switched off on the Valerian, the winner is clear. Aurora Pro's native contrast, which is more than twice as high, leaves no room for competition here. However, when we activate the dynamic contrast systems on both projectors, things balance out with the Valerian EBL really showing its teeth. But again, in certain scene transitions, you can clearly see that the smoothness of the scene adapt engine gives the Aurora Pro a clear advantage. Gaming is the last thing I want to focus on because Aurora Pro MK2 is a true gaming projector and it doesn't hide it. It checks all the boxes for a gamer, featuring one of the lowest input lags on the market. And let's be honest, playing the latest generation games in Dolby Vision, it's pure enjoyment. Come 
Sarà la catria. Tessera.